G'day and welcome to the start of a new Hearts of Iron 4 campaign. Uh, we're going to do an achievement run here, so we're going to play as Sweden, <clears throat> and we're going to go for the Med Plutonium and Northern Light achievements, um, one or the other. Probably won't be able to do them both. We'll see how it goes. I get the feeling we're going to be overrun by the Soviets. But uh, Iron Man Mode on. Let's start. And Iron Man Sweden 1, yes. <clears throat> okay, so this is in the uh, Sunflower patch. It's uh, made a few changes to the game, but none of them seem to be particularly earth shattering <clears throat> so what we're going to do is go actually we could just go communist early on seeing the on fascist you know let's go communist then maybe the soviets won't attack us when we take finland i guess we'll soon find out uh what's this dude commando or a hill fighter well there's a lot of hills in norway so let's get this guy in charge for the first war and do you want to do Finland first or Norway first? Uh, I think we'll plan to do Finland. Take Helsinki and whatever the other one there is. And just make sure he knows to go there as well. Okay, now research slots. We'll do what we always do. We'll go for production, construction and research. Now we don't have our own focus tree. No, so we'll go political, collectivist, international, and then what else do we get after that? Political power for removing neutral foreign policy. Doctor, there's a lot of political power down there. I think that's got to be a change. I don't remember that all being there. All right, free civilian factories to make military factories. Start in Scone and head north. Don't forget Gotland. Alright, military factories, let's have a look. Infantry equipment and support equipment. <clears throat> well, I guess we should probably do a little bit of both. We only have one more factory though, so sure, after you do that, do some of them. Uh, finish these guys off. And if you ever finish that, we'll go ahead and make some convoys. Stick these guys in whichever. And grab all these guys. Merge them under the Kustflottan of Kles Lindström, the blockade runner. Okay, Air Force, we have naval bombers, close air support, and fighters. Let's forget about him. So grab these two. And get them over here, I guess. If we can get them into Finland. Can't reach, and we can't get them any further north where we can. We could put them there. And then see if they could reach Finland. No. They could reach northern Scandinavia though. <clears throat> and we'll increase this for later on. And the other guy was the naval bombers. Naval bombers can go play in the Baltic. All right, close air support, air superiority, interception. Okay, national focus was going to be political effort. Need the political power so we can convert as fast as possible. Low manpower, yes, that is not fantastic. Six million pop. And insufficient resources, we need oil for the boats. So none of that matters. All right, let's kick up speed five. So we're going to try and take Norway and Finland. We'll leave Denmark. Actually, they have to be literally within our thing. Well, we'll take them and then... I guess we can release them when we're ready to get that achievement. Not sure exactly how that would work. But to nuke Denmark, we're going to leave them alone. See what Germany does. And then uh, they never take Iceland and Greenland anyway. So we could always go over there to nuke Denmark for the other achievement. <clears throat> and we need artillery, great. All right. Toad artillery. Has to be the first one. We have five divisions of Armee Fölning. Guess these guys only need infantry equipment. Probably gonna have to make some of them. 
These guys need the artillery for support. <clears throat> and what was the other one? Actual cav. Yeah, all that crap. Alright, so. <clears throat> collectivist. We're not non-aligned. Crap. Alright, well there goes that planning. In that case, we'll go for army effort. And then do a bit of that research and then switch over to uh, the other thing. Alright, Spanish Civil War has begun. And we want to become communist. Um, yeah, look for support in high places. We have a silent workhorse here as well. So we'll probably want to get him next. How did we miss that guy? I'm pretty sure... No, because they disappeared. Okay. Göteborg's Escadron. Alright, and he doesn't have the commander. Place. And that was research. So, another research reduction. <clears throat> and how long is this going to take? We do start with some communists, so it is probably a better choice than fascists. It's going to take quite some time to get it up there, though. Hmm. Okay. What else does Sweden have? We've got an old guard for an extra political power gain. Probably a good idea when you're not at war. Or later on would be good as well. <clears throat> division defense, division training time, organization. Yeah, nothing particularly fantastic there. And infantry expert is one we're going to want first. Alright, equipment effort. Mm, yep. Basic machine tools, so I need to move on to concentrated industry. Get the 20% uh, bonus to what we're allowed to build. It's going to be a horrible shortage. 115 recruitable per month. So we're definitely not going to be doing a world conquest. Coup shall be executed. Alright, and we also want Republican Spain to win. We can't actually send volunteers. It'd be at 70%. And we need less 30 divisions. Well, I guess that's why they put in that part of the focus tree. The uh, interventionism and volunteer corps. Hmm. A lot to get through over there. Alright, that's construction. It is mid-36, so now we go over to the Land Doctrine. And what are we going to choose? I'm thinking Mobile Warfare, just for the extra 5%. Can't even remember what these other trees have in them. Mass Assault should have something. Mass Mobilization. Crucible Pop, plus 5 and guerrilla tactics and all the rest. Yep. Well, I know this tree better, so let's go for the tank breakthrough and all the rest of it. Modify the government. We need Usten Undane. <coughs> Gets us to 1.3. Missing all of that production, yes. And uh, is there anything else here we're going to want? I don't think so. Okay, equipment effort. <clears throat> Gives us one bonus. And we're going to need to go industrial. Get the extra research slot. And who do we have in here? Military theorist. Helge Jung. I think the next one we'll go for would be the infantry expert. Because nothing else there makes a lot of sense. Although... War economy would be fantastic when we do our war with Finland. Can't really do much, even if we did go up to extensive conscription. Or limited, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now, what did Finland start with? Between 9 and 22. So we've probably got more than us. What about Norway? Okay, I guess Norway is the better one to do first. 
And we had an election. I hadn't even noticed. Next will be in September of 40. Uh, rather reform than revolution. Well, that's what we're trying to do, so yes. Quick bump up to one third. <clears throat> and we are going to switch these guys over. It'll be the blue army. Seeing as we're Swedish. Let's get these guys, well, just pull them over here. And get them to take all of the southern sort of region. That's the secondary city there. And could almost reach that far. Alright, well, that's their first job. And we're going to start training some more of these because we need just a bunch of guys. But no infantry equipment. Communist influence foreign policy. Change in popularity of communists. Alright, now we'll come out next to Oslo, joining this army and our industrial effort. We need to go armament first as much as we want to do construction. We need military factories. We are 200 days short. That's absolutely fine. Alright, we'll leave that as is. And need to reinforce before anything else. Supply up there, we've got 66, that'll be okay. And we didn't have enough manpower to do that, didn't even check that. <clears throat> Alright, um, let's actually go for the old guard, Old of Thornell, for the extra 0.2 per day. And how far over here did we go? It's 4,000, wow. We can do maybe two. We can do two. Yeah, I guess we'll leave that as that. <clears throat> Actually, we'll leave it at three. Missing fighters, Kaz, and yeah, I'm gonna turn this on just so that pop up goes away. So, interwar fighters, Kaz one, and naval one. Our mobile warfare, and that means we can move on to some 37 tech. Let's start knocking that one out. The November Revolution, the notion that the communist movement represents the people, has certainly gotten wind in its sails in Sweden, where the public supports for the Communist Party have increased rapidly in the past months. But those who would call for revolution are no longer a disparate collection of guerrillas and disgruntled labour unions. The group behind the call for revolt is organised enough to form a government if they succeed. Nevertheless, if the revolution started now, it could hardly be executed without launching Sweden into civil war. Should the revolutionaries risk tearing the nation in two to satisfy their impatience, or wait for a better opportunity in the future? <clears throat> We're not going to start a civil war, so no, you can wait. I'm going to throw what complete lack of manpower we have away. Right, mechanical computing and industry that means the reinforcement rate, or we can jump into concentrated and construction. All right, the Norwegians from six to eleven. I only see two of them. I wonder where they've got the rest of them in. Soldiers desert to communist partisans. Perhaps they're merely fighting for a different Sweden. Change in popularity is freaking huge. Recruitable population goes down. Permanently, apparently. And we execute the coup. Political power gain goes up for a long time. Okay, well, decent start. So we're communists under Sven Lindroth, and we have barely enough to justify a war goal to conquer Lord Norge. And then as soon as we can, probably start the fabrication on Finland, although I don't think we'd be able to win that at this point. <clears throat> we're going to need the Volkhemet. Um, probably going to need the political power to change conscription law so we can actually get some more army out. We ban a neutral foreign policy. Yes we do. That's what we have now. Reign of Terror and Unspensk Tiger. Drift defense and just five war gold time on us goes up. Which might come in handy against the Soviets. 
the Germans have caused the most tension. The Rhineland. <clears throat> Alright, so we finished there. That is 37. It's about time. No, it's not. I don't want to do that because that would waste our bonus. So, yeah, I'll spend it on this one. Experience is capped at 500. Yes, we've got five from something. Really wish they'd say here how negative you are into the manpower. Oh well. Got about two and a half years until Germany declares on Poland. Looks like the nationalists are going to win in Spain. Could we actually send people down there now? Yeah, you still need 30. Alright, armament effort. Keep making an effort. Modify the government. Well, I think this is going to be the best course of action here. Um, limited conscription gives us another percent. Which isn't going to be much. Well, that's decent. Alright. 5, 10... 15, 16, let's go 17, and just do that for once. That will give us 29. Alright, screw it. Give us 30. Nice round number. It's a nice looking flag. With the Fulcomet. Hmm. Oh, that's definitely not going to go well. 7 to 12, yeah, nah, they're crushed. So Spain's going at nationalist. And over here, sign a non-aggression pact with them. It's accepted. We'll crush their bourgeois dictatorship. Can't join the faction. If we improved opinion, then we could. Because we're not neighbouring. Actually, we can't improve opinion up to one, we could only get it to 30 positive, 30 negative. World tension would come up naturally though. All right, we are angered by the Norwegians. We'll go to war in August. Hindenburg's down. And we're gonna head through, well, actually. Do we get anything that we can use from these? Uh, no, communism support. Just political power. National unity and political power, political power, and division recovery, right? That's pretty useless, so we're going to go down through construction. <clears throat> These guys have been auto-deploying to the wrong front. Be the uh, first round of guys. And it's just the infantry equipment shortage, which hopefully won't last too long. Alright, construction and concentrated industry. 39 is too far away. Engineering is you know, 300 days. Alright, now I can do the support weapons and better artillery. Modify the government with uh, the guy, infantry expert, Archibald Douglas. Where are we going now? 1.7. Thanks to Reign of Terror. All right, Norway is 7 to 10. So the problem here is going to be, because we're trying to do Northern Lights, we're going to need them in our faction, which means they're going to need to be our puppet, not our conquest. Which I guess will be okay. Earhart has disappeared. All right, um... Could do Mountaineers. Could do Support Battalions. I don't really think so. Uh, armor. We've already got some lights. You know what? We're going to need tanks later on, so we'll do the research now. Alright, that's a bunch of guys popping out. Our construction effort. Leadership purges in the Union. And let's go for the next bit of construction. Alright, here goes... Japan. And what are we 
waiting for. Early August 14th. 14th of August we need. And yes, we've noticed we have a slightly low manpower. If we get another 191 men per month. And you know what we might need. It's these guys in southern Norway. Okay, so... Norway's Air Force are smaller than ours. <coughs> Where's that zone? That's just down there. Northern Scandinavia is most of his guys. Yeah, we'll come down there. Okay, we have our war goal against Nord Norj ready. We have enough power to start justifying on Finland, so I think we'll do that for, sure, Holland. That'll come out eventually. Uh, Denmark will leave alone for now. But I'm going to take a short break here. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope to see you again soon. See you later.